All right, now joining us in the studio today is Akash Desai, one of the head producers and partners of SB Talkies based out of the New York, New Jersey state area. Akash, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you guys. Kya haal hai Akash, yaar? It's been such a long time. It's been it's been a very long time. Let me just say, Akash and I go way back. Uh, I mean, langotia yaar, langotia yaar. Chaddi heard, buddies. Chaddi buddies. You've heard the word chaddi buddies. I mean, that's exactly what we were. Yes. Back in Dubai. Yes, that is that is for sure. I think our our fathers used to work together, and so therefore, uh, by default, we became chatty buddies. Hey, your mom babysat me for a long time, actually. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. You know, she's going to be listening to this show, right? So, yeah. <laughs> That's true, though, and you know, we would always misbehave. But of course. But the thing is, Akash was here. He grew up here in New Jersey. I was over here in Dallas, but we only connected after many years in Chicago, and uh, we've had quite yes. a few nights uh, drunk in Chicago, haven't we? Oh, yes, we've had. Uh, <laughs> we're, those were some good nights, actually. Especially the places that we went to that night were legendary. Dude, Russian division. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> That's it called Viagra Corner or Viagra Triangle. Uh, no. Something. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? You didn't know that? Yeah. It's called the Viagra Triangle. No, I was already half drunk when I was walking in. I, I don't uh, want to know. I don't want to know. You should have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, this, this opens up way too many jokes for Viagra for the future. Thank you, Akash. Thank Interesting you. Interesting night, Viagra. It. This is not good. Yes, um, yes. So the reason Akash is here, he's not here just to shoot the shit. He's here to talk about something very important and projects that he's involved in. and it involves movies their production house by the name of SB Talkies which is not Sachin Bhatia Talkies by the way but <laughs> it might be an homage to me SB Talkies is basically um, was started by my friend Samir Banerjee mm-hmm. this was started back in 2001 when we were all in college uh, we used to make movies on our camcorders and 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 you know and stuff like that and we decided after finishing college and taking a break we started coming up with with more scripts and ideas and saying you know what let's let's get into this full time so since 2005 now we have been making uh short films and working on features and and uh hopefully bigger and better projects and the project that you're here to talk about today is titled the word trader yes it's inception with a dictionary is how we like to put it the word trader is a fantasy genre based film and it's a it's a 17 minute short film which has already been to con uh like our nice. previous two short movies yes uh, it was at con this year and now right now it's playing at the Manhattan Film Festival this year um but the word trader is basically a story about a person uh Lester Harrigan is the character's name who buys and sells mm-hmm. words and you, you can see that in the movie where he's selling words to certain people because they want to buy those words but he also buys words from people you know if you buy the word guilty for example if you commit a crime you could never be charged because nobody would be able to say the word guilty because it has been removed from existence which is what we're trying to show in the movie wow wow my mind is blown right now <laughs> wait i'm i'm trying to process this. this this sounds really cool and what i'm really curious about is how you make this a short versus a feature well so how it starts out is we had the writer sakina fakhri is her name she's a mm-hmm. up and coming novelist in new york and she had about seven different stories all circling around this whole concept of buying and selling words and right. the thing was that she had the story but she didn't know how to put an ending to it and when we all sat down for our first production meeting back in november of 2012 We decided that mm-hmm. uh, we would have to make this a short because of the kind of subject matter that was that was at hand. There are certain stories that you can elaborate for an hour and a half that would bore the audience, mm-hmm. or you make something in less than 20 minutes. You get the point across. You have its impact felt by the audience, and that's the way we come about making movies. Is How long do we want to keep the audience captivated? Do we want to keep them for 20 minutes right. or a feature? And some stories are better off as shorts, and this was one of them. So Yeah, this does sound like a concept story, doesn't it? Because the imagination that words can be traded, bought and sold, right. and if right. owned by somebody cannot be used by the rest of the populace, that is a concept that I mean, how do you even come up with this stuff? Like the writer, what brought this up? You know, we never actually talked about that with her. Um 
any inspiration would have been from, you know, for example, the, the market crashing. You know, right. you use the, whole, the simple concept of trading, buying and selling stocks and shares and bonds and whatnot. And plus, she's an English major. You know, you bring her concept of English literature to a concept of trading. And you merge those two worlds, and, and that's how she must have come up with the story. So. Now, we know the World Trader is making its rounds, sure. and all that stuff is happening for you guys, but right. we've also hearing rumblings about future projects. What do you guys have up your sleeves? I'm sure you guys have some stuff. Absolutely. So, uh, currently, we have uh, one feature length script that's going to the floors in August or September. It's being shot in New Mexico. So, we have that script, and we have a couple of others which we're trying to bunch together, you know, put it out there for people who are more than happy to invest in film. So we're looking for investors, we're looking for people who can help us out mm -hmm. with all our scripts and we have about four or five scripts ready to go. So, you know, that's that's our plan, that's our aim and that's hopefully the next uh, five year plan, I think. So, so SB yeah. Talkies, producing yes. The Word Trader, the right. producer, of course, we're talking to Mr. Akash Desai. Akash, man, you are doing a great job with the projects that you're working on. We wish Thank you, you yes, it is. all the very it best, is. man. Thank you so very much, yeah, guys. And, Thank you. And more importantly, Akash, if you're looking for extras, I'll I know. Do anything. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I've already, anything, huh? I've already got you guys in mind. No, not anything. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> not anything. They'll <laughs> just say anything. You know, some of my co-workers at work think I make porno movies. But so. to me, stop. <laughs> call me. Huh? Call me. Call me. Yeah. So, but no. no. <laughs> He's, yeah. I'm sorry, I had to. I had to have my courage Johar moment. Yeah, I, I, like, I like how Akash moment. is just quiet right now. He's he's caught off guard. Yeah. Akash is like, what the hell just happened? Funny. It's it's you know it's trying to keep up with you guys is is a is is a challenge. You you guys are too good that way. So. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. So here's what we're gonna do. Absolutely. We're gonna uh, spread the word out about the word trader. Everybody that's listening to us right now, if you're in the tri-state area, look up SB Talkies on Facebook and find out where in Manhattan they're showing the movie. You can get a hold of Akash Desai on yes. where? On Facebook uh, slash Tabla1982 or Twitter at Tabla1982. And then our Facebook page for SB Talkies is SB Talkies Productions. The Word Trader has its own Facebook page, uh, Facebook slash The Word Trader. And check out our website, www.sbtalkies.com. That's S B T A L K I E S.com. Fantastic. So there you have Thank it, folks. You. That was Akash Desai. And Akash, before you go, he had a request uh, that he wants to play a song because apparently the Kali Smugglers are not good at picking their own damn songs. So we had Akash. Yeah, apparently. I mean, we've only been doing this for four years. I know, only, right? Seriously. Only. only but wait a bit less, man. So Akash came up to us and said, hey guys, can you play DJ NYK's version of Battamiz Dil? And so here it is. This is Battamiz Dil, DJ NYK. Akash, fantastic having you on the show, man. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it.